My name is Bailey Peabody, and I'm a ninth grader at Abraham Lincoln High School. Four score and seven years ago! And this is my piece within my garden. Would you believe me if I told you flowers could bloom in dark rooms? Being just another flower in the garden of so many already beautifully bloomed flowers, wondering when I would be as stunning as the rest, for I was a mere sideshow attraction to their main event, stuck in the shadows of the image that everyone wants to be. And one who stumbles over her own roots, the girl who had a heart so large that it hurt. Dip your hands into the never-ending pool of empathy and kindness that is my heart. Scoop the insides clean and tell me how wrong I am for running out. Tear from me the very essence of my being and leave me with the skeleton of a broken girl. And that of a simple child. I keep to myself, I mind my own, and I stay away from people. I believe kindness is key and a smile a day keeps the depression away. No one cares what you think or what you feel. Put a smile on your face and run through the storm. The storm that consumes me. I've always loved picking flowers in the field next to my house. Dandelions most of all. Most people would say dandelions are weeds, but I see the beauty in even the worst of things. That's always been one of my biggest problems. I eat the apple and ignore the poison. My mother always told me that God had picked me from his garden and placed me delicately in her grasp. She forgot to mention my broken stem and my missing petals. Broken from the beginning, I was destined for nothing but disappointment and pain. My father spilling poison on the garden, growing in my mother's garden, killing the beauty of God's creation. Maybe it's because he was created with a broken stem as well. I once saw him with flourishing petals, infinite beauty, and a sweet fragrance. But I quickly learned it was the shadows that covered the true story his petals told. Yet I managed to love him for his stem. With the poison being spilled on my mother's garden, I began pulling my son's rays from my petals to everyone else's, just so they would stay upright. No one knew that in the process of saving my mother's garden, my flower was slowly dying. Picking slowly at my stem and petals as they continued to dip into the emptying abyss of my once filled heart, stripping my exterior clean. As time went on, my flower grew darker and sunk lower to the ground. My black petals scattered round me, fallen into the garden of colors. With no hope of ever becoming the magnificent flower I once came to know, I let my roots wither. But because I gave so much of myself to others, those around me blessed me with some of their strength. And instead of caving in upon myself, I let the sun shine. I closed my heart to the hungry thieves, and I picked up my fallen pieces. My stem stood straighter, and those around me did as well. I had finally reached my full potential, everything I was meant to be. I was the flower that bloomed in a dark room. Woo!